welcome back welcome back this is still activity 5 i'm not doing the admin section just yet i'm going to do that later on this is going to be another version of what i did before but maybe not so detailed maybe not so convoluted um hopefully this one makes sense if the last one didn't so let's jump into it so i have my original headings again document title you don't need to have original headings in your document that's number one and you don't need to have document title you simply need to have this at the very very top of your document so this is how it should essentially look and you're going to have the introduction and in the introduction all i've done here i've made some notes so what is an introduction it says what you're going to be doing it introduces your paper to the reader so that they know what to expect to some degree so when you introduce yourself to someone you might say hi my name is king boss i am a computer science teacher i teach at this college i do this i do that so they know they have some expectation of what is to come next so you say what you're going to be doing a brief synopsis i've copied and pasted this from the previous video and what they are again is the stuff i'll be doing so the first one is reviewing uh, the evidence provided on the incident so provided to me on the um the cyber incident which occurred uh, assessing the security policies in place at bctaa uh, compare the actions taken by the people obviously versus the actions that were to be taken so what did they do versus what they were supposed to do suggest recommendations which would aim to reduce the likelihood of this um, happening again and again i would also need justification so justify justify why that was recommended probably spelt it wrong no i didn't oh i did uh, main body in the main body the things that went bad that's the first thing i would say the things that went bad you're going to have a list of all the things that went bad that you think went bad i would say don't do, do any more than about 10 in the examiner's report for 2018 they had 13 that's in the description so if you want to click on the link and access that it should be it should be available and then next again we just have a list of the bad items that's all i've said for main body this is the start of main body all of this stuff is going to be in the main body the recommendations and justifications again give possible solutions to help ensure that the problem won't come up again so whatever you say should help people or help the company not have that same issue again you might have a similar issue you might have to um, tailor things to suit that new issue but make sure or ensure that you fix this issue first and then that's the recommendation and to justify again a justification is to give reasons why you think this would be helpful why you think this is going to work so this is going to be the outline of what you do i've gone ahead and done one of them and i've made it as stupid simple as possible all the mistakes made i copied again from the previous one so pause the video and read this if you need to i'm not going to go through all of them so these are just the mistakes that some of the mistakes i picked up from the 2018 paper that people made that weren't done properly so what i did i went in and i did each mistake at the time you don't have to do this you can join mistakes if you need to because some of these mistakes are very very similar and a a, a single policy or, or yeah a single policy addition or a single policy creation could solve multiple mistakes so that's what i would do so mistake one and i said laptop and phones had been left out uh, left out and plugged in instead of being securely out of sight was the policy followed so the first question is was the policy followed i'm going to say the policy was not followed due to there being no policy essentially for this specific one some of them will have policies some of them will not have policies if you do not have a policy for this specific thing you can say there was no policy in place or people had no no um specific or um list of things that they had to do if there was a policy did someone follow the policy or did someone not follow the policy so here i say ps if there is a policy that could be used simply detail if the policy was used or not um that's supposed to be used obviously if it was followed so if people actually followed the rules the policies say how the process could be improved in recommendation so maybe they they only did half the stuff they were supposed to do maybe they didn't do it 100 percent of the way maybe they didn't do it the 100 percent right way in terms of you're supposed to do this do this do this maybe they only did two of the three things that's what it means say how they could have improved it uh, maybe they took too long that's one as well if it was not followed say what you would recommend the company do for people to follow it more and i think the most common thing is going to be training so when you have training make people aware of the company's policies on this on it just make every single person whether it's an, a new member of staff or an old member of staff ensure that they know now again this is not something you have to write in these are just notes i'm giving because i'm trying to give context as to what you should do here 
So again, was the policy followed? And if the policy was followed, state how the person followed the policy. So if you want to give more detail here, say how they followed the policy and say where they did not follow the policy 100%. And then in recommendations now, you can come and say, okay, since they didn't follow the policy 100% there, this is what I think they should do. Uh, since there was no policy, well, the recommendation would be to create a policy or to add this to an existing policy. So here's my recommendation. I said, I would suggest that a policy be put in place which details what should be done with all portable electronic devices once they are no longer in use or if they need to be charged and never ever charge them out on the table. So this is where my justification now comes in after the recommendation. So after I say what you should do, the justification is going to be why you should do it. So the justification says this would that both oh this would mean sorry about that this would mean or ensure let's use ensure ens uh ensure oh sorry guys <laughs> this would ensure that both new and old staff are aware of the rules because it's in training if it becomes a rule that would be more of an incentive to follow the rules compared to simply if you were told to do it. So if someone at work tells you, I don't know, if my manager tells me, oh, just can you please do that thing? I'm going to be like, okay, I'll do it this time. But then I, it, it might not become a thing I do all the time because it's not been made a rule. It's not been made a staple of my day-to-day -day work life. So making something a rule, making something a general rule, people are tend to follow it more versus than being told maybe once or twice. So policy creation or policy amendment. Now, this is not something that's given to you. These are just my things that I would do if I were in the exam. So again, this this comes under recommendation and justification. So um, more recommendation, um, but I've separated it again. It doesn't really matter. I would suggest a policy creation as none of the policies currently in place would logically house the rules of equipment not being put away securely. Simply put, none of the policies there would deal with this specific problem in a way that would make sense. That's it. Nothing else. And some of the policy rules I've come up with so far are um, rule one, when devices are not in use, they should be returned to the locked cabinets immediately. So as soon as you finish a meeting, a phone call, a text message, an email, and you're done with that device, you turn it off and put it back straight away. Rule number two, when devices need charging, they should not be left out in the open to be charged. They should simply, oh, I left off the rest of the sentence. They should simply be put back again in the locked cabinets to be charged. And rule number three, at the end of each day or each working day, ensure that all devices are turned off, locked away and plugged in before leaving them. Um, sorry, before leaving, the manager on shift should ensure that this is done. This is, this is going to help in a number of ways. It's going to make sure that things are put back in the right place. It's going to make sure that things are, are charged properly. It's going to make sure that the place is locked up. It's going to make sure that um, damage is picked up or theft is picked up on the same day. So it doesn't take them a whole bank holiday weekend, three, four days to come back and find out that something is missing. You're going to know day to day. Oh, someone stole a phone today. All right. And then PS, I have some notes here. Remove the bold, not bud. Remove the bold headings if you want to have a paragraph that flows better. You can update this uh, the same policy to combat some of the other mistakes made. So my policy currently only has three things. If there is another mistake that was made that can link to this policy, I can simply add more rules to it later on, but I would do it for that mistake. So let me scroll down on my document, scroll down a bit more. So this is mistake two, and I would have all the same headings as I did previously, but for mistake two, and let's say for argument's sake, mistake two, I could add stuff from mistake two back into um, the first policy, which I probably could because it says no realization of what other items may have been missing until a search of the laptop took place. That policy could be once the laptop, uh, sorry, at the end of every day again, that problem could be solved by the previous ones because I, I said at the end of every day, the manager who is on duty is supposed to come around, check things, make sure everything's plugged in and charging. They would know on the same day, as I mentioned before, that this phone was taken because they didn't know the phone was taken until the laptop was missing. So in any case, hopefully that was helpful. Let me scroll back up to this one. Let me get rid of this blank page here. Scroll back up and simply show you guys the headings again. So the first heading I had um, for this was all the mistakes made. And then I spoke about mistake one first. Again, you can join mistakes together because I um, I think I did it before. Mistake one, two, and three can probably go in the same category. And then one policy could solve all of those mistakes in one go. So my mistake one, then I say, was the 
policy followed if, if you follow if they follow the policy yes if not no and then you explain how rec what recommendation you would make and after you recommend something after you tell people what to do you tell them why to do it and that's the justification and after the justification again in the policy creation or policy amendment that could come on the recommendation again so you could really join policy creation and amendment to recommendation but again i separated it to make it look very simple and then you say what you would do would you create a new policy which is what i did in this instance or would you simply amend or add to one of the old policies that maybe doesn't have as much detail on what to do in this instance so realistically these are all the things that i spoke about but for each mistake and once you do that you should be good to go. Hopefully this was useful. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I'm going to do an admin video next and upload that one straight away. So good luck, guys. Good luck.